There were many of these people who had come from Germany and uh, were very reluctant to uh, fight at all and somewhat reluctant to fight against the old fatherland. So they, this is where they had the big problem in New Ulm. And these people came to, my father then was mayor of New Ulm, and they came to him and city attorney Albert Fender and they wanted to uh, see what, if anything, could be done that they wouldn't have to fight against or enter into active fighting in this war. And finally, they decided that they would have a meeting here in New Ulm and explain the draft to these, all these people. The First World War, I remember that. Uh, I, I remember the, the anti-draft meeting, for instance. I, I, my dad and I both agreed that New Ulm should have never gone into that. On the other hand, I, uh, the, the government in St. Paul shouldn't have damned New Ulm the way they did either. This meeting, of course, was completely misconstrued, and New Ulm received a, a, uh, a uh, terrible blow to their reputation. They, they felt that uh, 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 nothing could be done to bring us back, uh, so we'd be reputable again. But time has shown that it was different. Now, the, uh, as a result of this, my father was mayor. He was. Uh, uh, removed from office by Governor Bernquist in the next election. He was re-elected again. I can remember during uh, World War I because of this thing, when uh, uh, they had the Food Administration, they, it seems almost as if they singled out New Ulm. They came here. I remember the man coming to our house and inspecting uh, our house to see if we had sugar or flour hidden. And my mother had bought a package of Swanstown cake flour that she had never used and that had been on the shelf for several years. And when he came and saw that flour, he made a big issue of it. And finally, uh, my mother went to the telephone and called my father, and he sent the police down. And the police came, and then they got quieted. So nothing ever came of that. But people were hounded. There's no question about it. They were singled out, and especially some of those who they felt were of uh, German descent. Well, my father had not been born in Germany. He was born right here in New Ulm. He was only three months old at the Sioux, time of the Sioux uprising. So he was an American, but he, he took his, his stand just the way an ordinary, sensible person would form their opinions now.